Duke playing the two three zone. Grant, uh, what do you think about that? Taking on Syracuse with their own defense. Yeah, I mean Syracuse is funny. They this is a team that you know. Once again, you have to credit Bayheim and the job he does, and and just how he seems to get his team ready uh, at the right time of the season. They had a a run a few years ago that no one expected. They got to the Final Four, uh, and this team is more than capable. I think the thing that helps Duke uh, in this case is that they've seen uh, the zone. They've seen Jim Beheim's, uh, uh zone and how they play, and they've seen this team uh, in the regular season. And so that helps. That helps tremendously. Uh, I think you know sometimes a team like Syracuse, because they're so long and athletic and so connected in that zone, a lot of teams out of conference aren't accustomed to playing against that zone. Obviously, Bayheim and Coach K are great friends. They coach together for, I think, 10, 12 years in USA basketball. Uh, so they're, they're, they're both you know, very familiar, which also works in Syracuse's favor as well. So uh, because they're an 11th seed, you should not look past them. They are more than capable of being Duke. They're not going to be uh, intimidated by Duke. Uh, they beat a very good... Uh, Michigan State team at home virtually in Detroit. And uh, and so, you know, it, it's going to be tough. I mean, I think Duke's going to want to try to get out a little bit in transition, try to get some easy baskets before Syracuse's zone sets up. Uh, and, you know, Syracuse right now is just – there's a good rhythm. There's a good rhythm to their game. They're comfortable. They're confident. Uh, they're, they're doing a great job on the offensive end. They, You know, Michigan State, a great defensive team, Tom Izzo, uh, so, yeah, I mean, this is not a normal two seed versus an 11 seed. Uh, it, it could go either way. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.